Hi everyone, I'm Destroy America and welcome back to another Punk Rave Australia review. Today we're going to be looking at a more summery punk outfit and adding a mask. Uh, but before we get into that, if you could subscribe to either one or both of our channels, that'd be much appreciated. And I also have to let you know that everything today was sent to me as a gift, but I'll always give you my honest opinion in every review. Okay, so here we are on the website and the first item for today is the Punk Wraparound Tie-Dye Bandage Top Blue. To me it looks grey, but we'll run with blue. And uh, the size for me is extra small to small. Small, and if we go down to the description, our women's punk wraparound tie-dye bandage top is made from 3D textured tie-dyed elastic knitting fabric, wide V neckline, short waist hemline with crisscross waist straps, short sleeves with belt buckle straps decoration, can tie the waist straps front or back, colours black or blue, regular plus size available. So if we have a closer look, yeah, as you can see, it's got this really interesting texture um, in the way that the fabric is and the way it interacts with that tie-dye kind of look. So it kind of gives me the impression of clouds and it's just really different and it's nice to see something that's not just black that I'm actually interested in. Um, you can see these buckles here, which are kind of fun as well, and the way that it ties up at the black back. Um, I just think it's a really interesting item, and yeah, we've got some close-ups on some of the details, um, which it's really good that they always include that. And look, look how interesting that fabric is. I can't wait to see what that's like in real life. And this is the overall look that we're going for. Um, but before that, there's the size chart, so I'll be fitting into these measurements. And um, I'll also show you the black version. Uh, so mostly this one's the same. You can see similar sort of texturing. Uh, but the main difference is on the back. So instead of having texture all the way around, um, like you can see at the front, the texture and then on the grey version that went all the way around. On this one it's actually smooth on the back and I'm not really sure why that, why that is but if you consider the tie dyeing on the grey version um, you know you probably notice it more whereas when it's just bl um, black maybe not so much. I don't know that's just my thoughts on it. Um, so it's interesting that there's two different versions and oh my gosh look at these leg warmers. I've never had leg warmers but they've got some really interesting ones now. Um, yeah so that's a quick look at the black one. The next item is the punk fake two-piece skort black and skort I think means like shorts skirt hybrid which is yeah really interesting. I haven't really tried anything like that before. Um, I'll be in the small size which is currently sold out. Um, you can probably send them an email if you want to be kept informed of when things come back and stock. Uh, but yeah, so in the description for this one, a women's uh, punk fake two-piece skort black is made from soft elastic PU knitting fabric and flowy perspective chiffon material, visible front zipper, front waist with adjustable and removable belt connected to a large high quality o-ring with snap button closures either side, three punk rave etched d-rings outer waist sides, a uh, long flowy semi-transparent outer layer with open split either side of zipper starting from last d-ring to hemline, back waist with three punk rave etched d-ring de decorations, two versions black or bright black plus sizes available, so if we have a closer look at this one, yeah, it's really interesting, like that skort um, kind of idea. Uh, I'm keen to try this and see how it goes. And yeah, you can see it's quite long, so I may need to wear my platforms, but we'll see how that goes. I just think it's really interesting the way that they've done that. So, you know, you can have that flowy see-through skirt with the shorts. Um, yeah, I, I've had some shorts from Punk Rave Australia as well and they're, they've always been comfortable but um, yeah, this just adds something extra which got my curiosity and yeah, all the little hardware bits. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting and fun and I love that they show all these close-ups of the detail and here, yeah, you can see the three D-rings, like usually you'd only get one D-ring, I think having three of them gives an interesting effect, uh, so I like that they've done that. And yeah, here's the size chart, I'll be in the small size. So, um, but we'll move on, and this is the shiny black, and what they mean by shiny black is it's basically the same thing, but um, if we can get a closer picture, like you can see that, that shiny fabric, um, whereas with the one that I'm going to be trying, it's more of a matte um, finish. So yeah, it's interesting that they're experimenting with different materials so that you have a choice of what you prefer. Um, that's pretty fun. But yeah, otherwise it's basically the same kind of thing. And uh, 
So yeah, same sizes and all that. Um, now the last item for today, we're also going to be adding a mask and this is the first mask that I'm going to be trying from Punk Rave Australia. So I'm pretty excited about that, um, to see how they do it. Cause like one of the things that I've actually enjoyed <laughs> about the pandemic in my own little way is that more people are making fashion masks. Whereas before I had to go all the way to Japan to find them. Um, so yeah, it's fun that more people are actually trying things with it and, um, because, you know, let's be real, surgical masks, they're, they're great, they're effective, all that kind of stuff, but they're kind of ugly, so I love having other options. Anyway, so the sizes for this, they're doing it more on male-female um, rather than specific sizes, because how would you measure your face, really? Um, if we look at the description, our men's and women's unisex punk chain-link face mask is made from snake texture flocked rhombic woven fabric, lining is elastic breathable mesh cloth, front middle flat rivets with D-shaped Buttons connected to chain link, zipper used as dividing line, elastic band ear loops with adjustment buckle, nose bridge is equipped with shaping strip to allow better facial fit around nose and mouth, available sizes men's free size and women's free size. So yeah, let's take a closer look and I mean there's not a whole lot of detail to show you because it's just a mask, it has an outside and an inside, but you can see all the basics there, what, it, what you're showing the world and the lining on the inside. And it looks like they've got all the basics there, like lining's really important. I have tried masks that didn't have lining and it was not a good experience. Um, and then they've got the adjustability which is good, like you know, if you if you only rely on elastics with no adjustability, the problem is they sort of stretch over time, so it's good that they have that. And then, yeah, the really interesting detail, because, um, yeah, that's what it's all about, isn't it? For me, anyway. Um, yeah, and you can see it, it looks kind of different. Um, it kind of has like a smiley face with that chain link, which is interesting, but still looking alternative. Um, gonna be fun and there's oh yeah here we go with the detail so you can see the zip in the front and with these chains right as you can see it looks like they're removable so if you if you didn't want that look you could take it off and um yeah it's i, I like that punk rave a uh, punk rave australia every now and then has something that is customizable if you want to change things potentially you could also you know link something else on that although you don't want it to be too heavy or the mask will slip down but yeah it's cool they've given you those options and uh, yeah, here it, there's not really a size chart, it's just the measurements of the two different versions. So, you know, you don't have to go on male or female, you can just go on what fits you personally. And uh, yeah, this is, I guess, your best guide in working out which one's the best for you. And uh, yeah, I think we've come back to the beginning. So those are the items for today. So here's the items for today, and they were actually shipped to me in previous videos, which you can check out if you're interested in that. Um, in a nutshell, they were both sent from China, but with different shipping methods. So it was DHL and EMS, and DHL was faster. EMS got caught up in some shipping delays, so I don't know exactly how long that usually takes. I'm also not sure what determines like which shipping company it's gonna come from, but yeah, DHL was definitely the faster one. So let's get into it, and we'll start with the top. Ooh, it's a really nice fabric. As usual, we've got the tissue paper and the silica packet, so just keep an eye on them. Oh, wow, okay, so um, I would still call this a grey colour, but there is like a tinge of blue in there. And the fabric has a small amount of stretch, as you can see. This lining, though, that really doesn't have a lot of stretch. Oh yeah, so the texture on this fabric, like, you know, it's actually raised and it gives you the illusion of there being two layers, but somehow it's not, like, it's like it's been sewn in on top or something like that. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they've pulled that off, but it's really interesting interesting. Um, so yeah, it's an illusion of two layers, but actually it's just one with a whole lot of texture. On the inside though, it's completely smooth and it's really soft and nice to touch. Coming over to the sleeves and we can see this buckle section. And so we've got the metal D-ring and the yeah, buckle itself. And this is a sort of a smooth, thick fabric here. And you can see the way that it's connected. So this is just sewn directly on, but here there's like that loop that goes into um, the buckle, I guess. And this buckle is adjustable. So yeah, you can loosen it. It's on the tightest setting at the moment, but you can loosen it and you can see there's a little bit of fabric down here so it probably could stretch it out a little bit if you don't want it bunched up on the shoulder. And then with this overlap section so it's actually like kind of free in here like the two sections they go all the way down to the bottom of the top so it's not it's not like sewn into exactly that crisscross like it has some space to move around. And then we come down to these straps and they're really 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 long and then I really like how they've still got that tie-dye pattern and also that fabric like it just yeah, uh, this fabric is really interesting to look at, when, especially combined with that tie-dye pattern. It's a really nice effect and yeah, it gives me that, that idea of sort of stormy clouds. Next up, the skirt. 
Ah, interesting. So, um, you remember there were two versions of the Scort, and one was like that shiny black, and then this one's the black. This actually has a sort of sparkle effect though. Can you see those little sparkles in the black fabric? So yeah, it's not a complete matte look. There is a little bit of something else going on in there. Now the main fabric has a small amount of stiffness, particularly up here where it's sort of doubled, um, has an extra layer, whereas here it's only a single layer, so it's much thinner. On the inside, so that same fabric is here, that's where it's folded over, um, but further down you get more of this smooth fabric. Now it's not overly soft, but it's also not scratchy. Compare that to this fabric, which is very thin and yeah, obviously see-through and yeah, that feels nice. It's not the softest of the see-through fabrics that we've had from Punk Rave Australia before, but yeah, it still feels pretty good. Now as for the details, so the way that this is sewn on, um, the main back panel is just sewn around the seams here, whereas that front panel you've got it starting underneath the D-rings and then it seems to be sewn here and down around the zipper so you can sort of see where my hand is and then where it's pulling. With all the hardware, so you might have noticed that this circle is right in front of the zipper, but what you can actually do Ta-da! It comes off! So yeah, you can take off that o-ring um, to make it easier to put things on and then snap it all back together. Now the zipper feels very solid, it's not a flimsy zipper, which I really love about Punk Rave Australia's stuff, like the zips actually feel good. And as usual on the inside they've got that flap covering up the zip for your comfort. Moving along, so yeah, we've got these three D-rings and they're that sort of metal with the Punk Rave logo on it and there's three sets of them around, so there's two in the front and one on the back and they're on these little sort of belt loops. And I guess what might be cool with them is like if you have little chains and so on that you wanted to add to this outfit, um, you could snap them onto this and I guess onto these um, little eyelets. And hey, I'm just realizing that this belt, like it actually comes out. So if you didn't want this O-ring or you wanted a different kind of belt, it looks like you could actually take this whole thing out and customize it. Which I guess potentially also means that you could use this belt with other outfits. Um, the one thing though is because it's not like strictly designed as a belt, um, it doesn't have adjustability. So yeah, I guess you'd use it more as like a fashion belt and not as one to like hold up your pants or anything. Um, you could potentially change out that O-ring to like a different size or put something else in between there if you needed more width or less. Um, but yeah, so you can take that out and change it around, but it's not like a traditional belt. I'll just get the mesh out of the way so you can see um, how the rest of the pants are. It's a bit tricky, but you can see, yeah, so it's got that sort of shorts look and that's the shape on the back. And as you can see, it's pretty plain because, you know, you're having the mesh over the front, so you don't need any details here. One more thing about the mesh, so it is properly finished. You can see the sort of edging there, but also in the rear mesh section, which is longer, um, there is an extra seam here. And that seam actually lines up with the seam in the side of the pants. So yeah, this is gonna be a really interesting one. And I also especially love like the possibilities for customization. I probably won't get a chance to do that today, but like going forward in the future, I think that'd be a fun one. All right, so the last one is the mask and look at this tiny pouch it comes in. I haven't had one of those before, so that's pretty cute. Let's get into it. So this here, this is the um, the little tag that usually comes on your clothes and it's interesting, they've actually put that in separately and I'm guessing the reason is like you don't want this flapping around on your face and having to cut it off anyway. So they've just put it separate, which is a really different, interesting way to do things. All right, so the mask itself. Now the big tag is also separate. Okay, so on the inside they've got a little um, bit of tissue paper and another silica packet. This is my first time looking at one of their masks, so I'm pretty excited. And, um, oh my god, straight away I noticed that that actually has a nose wire. That's really good. Sometimes fashion masks don't have a wire, so it's really good they've put that extra detail in. Wow, and this fabric, so it's really soft and it has this sort of, yeah, scaly kind of texture. It's really nice. And then so the, the chain and the zipper, they both have a dark silver metal. And where the chain connects, it's got these two studs that keep that, that loop of fabric in there nice and firm. And then, yeah, the D-ring that this hooks into, it's, yeah, it feels really good, really solid. These ear loops, they've got a decent amount of stretch. And then the little adjustments, right? They're tight, but they're reasonably easy to move around. But then when you pull it like this, it doesn't really move. So that gives you some confidence that it's going to stay put once you've got it on. It stays at your, your size. But yeah, I haven't had adjusters like this before. They're sort of a rubbery kind of feeling. And then for the lining, so you can see it's this sort of thin material that has all these tiny little holes in there. And it has this nice sort of soft feeling. So the fabric 
fabric on the outside is reasonably thick. It's got this fluffy kind of feeling. I mean, obviously I'm folding it over to try and feel what it's like, but it does have a sort of thickness to it. Whereas on the inside, um, you can tell straight away that it is a fair bit thinner. So they've gotten these two different kinds of layers. And then yeah, just popping it on my face like this, um, that fabric, it does feel really nice on your skin. You know, you want, you want a nice fabric on your face. Um, yeah, so they've made a really good choice with that, I think. All right, so those are my first impressions of these items. I'm gonna go and get dressed and we'll see what it's like to really wear them. All right, so here's how the outfit looks on me. I'm gonna put my measurements and also the items measurements in the corners so that you can keep an eye on them. And then yeah, we'll do some twirls and then afterwards we'll have a talk about it. So that's how the outfit looks on me. Now let's have a chat about it and I'll take my mask off so it's easier to understand me. So yeah, overall it's a really interesting outfit and I really like the vibe of it, but let's start off talking about size. And I'd say in general the size is pretty good, but I do have some comments. So the easiest one I would say is the mask, just because, you know, it's designed for a smaller female shape and it has the adjustability around the ears, so I had no problem size-wise with the mask. With the top, so remember I'm an extra small to small size, and yeah, overall it really fits me. Um, now you'll notice I don't really have much going on with the boobs, um, so there is a little bit of like extra material there, but What's really good is like when I bend over, it's not, I'm not falling out of the top as I've done with some other things in the past. Also, the sleeves are pretty good. Um, you do get slight resistance when you try and lift your arms um, just from like this. I didn't adjust these, by the way. Um, you do get like the slightest resistance, but as you can see, none of my movement is hindered. With a skirt though, so I'm a small size, and I did find that when I was pulling it on, um, I had to like, you know, really squeeze it over me and sort of suck in my stomach to be able to zip it up. Once I got it on though, it's fine, and I guess it's just sort of holding my stomach in a little bit, but the real part with the sizing that I have an issue is more to do with the leg area, the like leg holes. When I'm standing up, things feel mostly fine. Um, there is a little bit of tightness, but it's not too bad, but when you're sitting down, you do start to notice like those, those ends of the leg holes sort of digging in a little bit, and the fabric on this is not elastic, so there's not really any leeway there. And then I would say the most uncomfortable bit, which I'm not sure whether that's a sizing or whether that's a design issue, is like in the crotch area. Like even when I'm standing here, it sort of comes right in there and you do get a little bit of a wedgie. And then when you sit down, it sort of takes it up a notch and it's a little bit uncomfortable, which is a little bit unfortunate because it does look amazing and it's really different and I'm super excited about that whole vibe. But I do have a feeling that this isn't going to be one of those items that I wear out a lot. Like I'm not going to go out for hours in a day wearing it. I think it's going to be something more that I might use for like say a photo shoot or if I'm on stage doing a performance. Um, I just think yeah it if you were wearing this all day, it's a little bit uncomfortable for me, especially like the leg areas and definitely the crotch area. Now, whether that's a sizing issue or a design issue, I'm not so sure. Like if I went up to a medium, I guess it would be easier to pull on. The leg holes might be a bit bigger, but in that crotch area, then you have more fabric and whether or not that spreads out nicely or if it just bunches up more and gives you more of a wedgie, I'm not really sure, so I'm not, I don't know if size, if changing the size is gonna help there. Um, the other thing is I am wearing my platform boots because when I was just walking around flat, um, it didn't, it, it just touched the floor and you know, you don't wanna be tripping on things and you don't wanna be picking up the dirt. So um, yeah, if I went up a size, presumably that would mean that skirt area, uh, that skirt section would be slightly longer. So there's also that to factor in. Probably not by too much, but yeah. <laughs> Otherwise though, if we move on to fabric, um, it is quite comfy, like there's nothing irritating my skin and the way that the uh, mesh, the see-through bit flows around your legs, it feels really nice, so that's really good. Um, I guess like maybe the fabric choice could be part of why the crotch area is not so comfortable and then like if it had been a stretchy material it would be easier to get 
over my legs and over my stomach although like in the end I got them it's just yeah I felt it was sort of borderline trying to pull them on coming to the top um the fabric on the top yeah it feels really nice and yeah as I said like you know there's no limit to how your movement is um which is partly a sizing thing but also partly the fabric allows you to move because remember it is stretchy it does have a bit of stretch in there and then the fabric for the mask so yeah it feels really comfortable what impresses me the most is I can actually breathe in it because I've tried some other fashion masks and you know like they looked nice but breathability was an issue particularly when you're talking like most of these masks when you're um when you're just sitting around it's fine to breathe in but um you get a lot of that suck suction when you take a deep breath in the middle of talking so um now this one you still get a little bit of that but compared to some of the other masks that i've tried um it's it's much easier to breathe i'd say the breathability is still not quite up to the level that um my japanese masks that i got two years before the pandemic but you know the design is much nicer so there's a little bit of a trade-off there but yeah i can actually talk in it a lot more easily like i do still have to pause to take a breath like in between talking about stuff but it's not it's not hugely sucking into my face and um yeah i i'm not sure what's the best way to explain that but with some of the other masks right when you breathe in it sucks in so much that you have to sort of be like Whereas this one, it's only like a small stop to have a breath. Hey, it's Future Me, and I have just one more comment about talking in this mask. So when I'm making YouTube videos, um, I think I'm talking in a particular way, and so the way that I breathe also changes. But I was just talking to my family members, like talking normally as you would in a conversation, and actually really easy to breathe in, so I'm really impressed with that. For normal speech, just for making YouTube videos is the only time that I'm really getting that need to sort of take a breath you know <laughs> so yeah interesting so yeah i'm impressed with the fabric choice because you know it's comfortable it's breathable and i think that just makes it more likely for me to wear it more places which is really good because when lockdown ends we're kind of expecting them to say you still have to wear masks everywhere so you know you might as well look good doing it right and then my impression of how it all looks together so um i was kind of surprised to see that i got uh like cyberpunk kind of feel which i was not expecting especially like you know looking at the model on the website um it's just not really what what i thought but once i put it on you know you see these they look a little bit military and then i've got my my um my big platform boots on by necessity and i just thought you know what else this needs these these are my punk rave australia arm warmers which i reviewed a long time ago and yeah then just with the design of it and the different elements to me it gives a real cyberpunk like gothic cyberpunk kind of look and you know with the mask as well um, I was not expecting that at all. I just noticed something then, um, so the chain actually just went under my chin, so you just want to make sure you pull that forward so that you get that look there. But yeah, it does have that sort of dark future vibe for me, which I was not expecting, and um, I really like that. Alright, so I guess to sum up, um, I really love the look of this outfit. I think it's really interesting and different, and you know, some of the different design elements, like this top is really unusual. Overall, the size and fabric are really nice. Um, the only issue I have is with the pants around the leg and crotch area, but otherwise, you know, the upper section is fine. You know, once I fit into it, just suck my stomach a little bit, um, and then this top top is really nicely done and I'm really impressed with the fabric on this mask because I can breathe in it without feeling like I'm sucking through. Yeah, I don't know. I guess with the other masks, like it does feel like you just can't get enough air, which is uncomfortable. Whereas with this, um, yeah, it's, it's like almost perfect. And did you notice also my glasses weren't fogging up? I mean, it does kind of depend on angle and how much, you know, hot air you've got going, but, um, yeah, first impressions, not getting that, that glasses fog. Also, yeah, once again, with Punk Rave Australia items, I love that there are things that are customizable. And so potentially I could change up the mask or add chains to this skirt. And so, yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this outfit. Just if you're thinking of buying it, the one thing I'd be really careful with is the skirt. Just double check your measurements. And if you're right on the edge of a size, like, you know, right on the, the larger end of a size, maybe consider going up and just consider all the other issues that I've mentioned today. Speaking of buying things, if you do want to get these items today, there's an automatic 20% discount, which I think is valid for the thir first 30 days after this video goes live. And you don't need to put in any codes or anything. It's just automatically applied. And it doesn't matter how many items you get, that'll automatically be there. Thanks as always to Punk Brave Australia. And I'm especially excited that they let me know about these masks because yeah, it's hard to find good ones that look good and also like a breathable and feel good so yeah thank you so much for sending this to me now if you enjoyed this video please do give us a like consider subscribing to one or both of our channels leave us a comment if you have any thoughts and if you know anyone who's interested in this kind of style please do share the video
video with them. Especially if you have friends who are tired of the same old boring surgical masks, um, Punk Rave Australia's masks, yeah, they're a win for me, so share it around, people who want to like look good while also following the relevant health orders. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you next time when we're gonna do a pretty big one. It's gonna be a black and red sort of gothic military vibe outfit. It's really exciting. We're also gonna be doing one extra mask, but please bear with me because I am waiting on one more pre-order to arrive before I can make that video. So I don't know exactly when that's coming, but that is on the cards. So yeah, stay subscribed to our channels. Um, the Punk Rave Australia channel is just these these fashion videos my channel is more chaotic vlogs along with all the fashion videos um so yes yeah, stay tuned for that see you later guys and ever